Datin Mastura Mamat Yazid, who is campaigning from her home during the Kuala Kangsa parliamentary by-election, showed up in a rare press conference. After assigning a fellow Para AMNO member to complete her nomination on Sunday, Mastura allowed reporters into her home. She has been advised by religious experts to stay at her home to undergo the Idah period following the death of her late husband, incumbent MP, in a helicopter crash in Sibuyao, Sarawak, on May 5th. She said no one forced her to run for the election. Itu tak benar. Saya tidak pernah dipaksa. Saya buat kerana kerelaan hati saya dan kerana Allah Taala. I discussed with my children and um, came back afterwards, thinking that the work of my husband is of utmost importance in my life. I had faith in the leadership that why they had chosen me, because they felt that Arwa's good work has to be followed through. She said Kuala Kangsa always has a special place in her heart since she married to Datuk Wan Muhammad Khairil Anwar Wan Ahmad for 27 years. Perat will see for the first time teleconferencing and pre-recorded videos to bring her to her voters from her home. I believe that it's the way forward. Maybe. We'll see how it seems to work so far. I would prefer to concentrate on the issues, the local issues, which is very dear to my heart and to Arwa at that time. So, as issues like that, we'll de deliberate later. But let's focus on the people of Kuala Kangsa. Surely, their interests and the love that I have for them is at most important. If she is elected, she said she will have no problem travelling between Kuala Kangsa and Kuala Lumpur to serve as an MP. I'll have to go to Parliament, so that is in KL, isn't it? So, I'll have to go there too. So, it's not an issue. It's not an issue at all. Arwah did a good job and he was going up and down and there was no issue at all. And the people of Kuala Kangsa understand our method of work. Thank you.